Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing today? It is Monday, September 21st, 2020. Um, I'm just doing this quick video because I got a question on my YouTube channel about something. And I'm going to read uh, the question out loud. And it's from the random name 951, posted 22 hours ago. This fella, or ma'am, said that... Just had a question when plugins when plugins are uninstalled via auto plugin two are they truly removed uninstalled Vito Bright because it wasn't working for me but I will but I still see the code in the UR zero via Vita shell thank you so I did some digging around and stuff like that I installed the plugin and I figured it out and I re I posted my evidence to him and he's good to go. And I told him I'd make a video about this, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Quick Menu Plus plugin. Uh, when you hold down the home button, it usually tells you restart or uh, shut down or power off or whatever the hell it, it says. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... I'm going to show you first. In, I'm in my Vita shell, the UR0 folder. I'm going to go down to the tie. And there's no nothing that says power or quick power as far as uh, files go. There's nothing in my config.txt file that reads uh, quick power or quick menu or power quick or, or whatever. I just want to show you guys first. So let's... Exit out of this. Let us load. Let's load up Auto Plugin Two. Now let's install this Quick Menu Plus, which I do enjoy. I like it a lot, actually. I think I just went past it. Yep. There we go. Quick Menu Plus version 2.0.0. It should just be 2.0, but at any rate, uh, let's install this puppy. It is installed by, you could tell by the little green circle. Let's back out of here. Let's exit. It's going to ask you to restart. Let it restart. Well, this is restarting. I bought myself um, the Tony Hawk Remaster. Oh, dude, what a fun game. I spent many, many hours with my buddy back in high school, middle school, playing that game. It is a blast. The graphics are great, too. I got no problems. With it. There's a lot of configuration and, and stuff you could do. It's really neat. I'm glad I got it. Plus, it was like 33 bucks and change at Walmart. Can't go wrong. Okay, since we're back at the live area, or the main menu, or whatever, I'm going to hold down the PlayStation button, the home button. Now it says restart and power off. And this also comes with the master volume right there, as you can tell. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to load up Auto Plugin 2. Actually, first, I want to show you. Let's go to Vita Shell. Go down to UR0. Go down to the tie folder and right here if you can see it it says quick menu plus dot s u p r x let's go to config dot txt let's see there you go under the main it says you are zero tie quick menu plus dot s u p r x so it's installed correctly. Let's get out of here. Go into the auto plugin. Go to Vita plugins. Now what you want to do is un un uninstall the plugin that I just installed, which is the Quick Menu Plus. So right from here, you're going to move the D-pad right or left, doesn't matter. And there we go. Quick Menu. Quick Menu Plus merges quick power, quick volume, and rapid menu, as well as adding new features, power off, restart, and standby buttons. Configurable power buttons. 
volume slide bar, faster quick menu open time, custom background styles. I'm trying to, this, the text scrolling is a little too slow, that's why we're slowing down. But at any rate, um, what you want to do here is you want to, it says, just hit the X button. Are you sure you want to disable? Disabling is actually uninstalling um, the application that we just installed, which is the Quick Menu Plus. So you could either tap the X button or just um, hit it with hit the actual button, or just tap the screen. So I did. I accepted. Let's exit. It's going to ask you to restart again. Give it a few minutes. Keep in mind, I'm running Storage Manager, so the boot up time is a tad slower than the Yam Light. So if you if you guys are into like the boot up, um, booting up the system a lot quicker, go with the Yam. It's a lot quicker. All right, I'm holding down the power button, the home button, application's gone, the quick menu. There's no volume bar here. There's no restart or power off. But if we go to our Vita shell, go down to your UR0, go down to the tie folder, and look, quick menu right there. It's still in, the file's still there. Even though um, we did uninstall a program or the application, let's go to the config.txt file. It's not even underneath the, uh, the line 13 where it says main. Um, the code is not there. So if you really want to get rid of it, it's not hurting anything. You could just leave the file the way it is within the tie folder if you'd like. Or just hit the triangle button. Go down to where it says delete. It's going to ask you if you want to delete the file. Click yes or no. It's totally up to you guys. I just hit delete. Now it's deleted. That's it. Guess it could free up, freeze up just a tad. It's not that big. It does not that big of a file. It's totally up to you. And uh, that's about it. That's that's all I could give you for uh, information about that. If it's totally up to you if you want to delete that file or not. But um, yeah, that's it. I guess I'll talk to you guys later.